This video is about the Munich Massacre. During the Olympic Games in 1972, on the 5th of September, Palestinian terrorists took 11 members of the Israeli Olympic team hostage. All of these, 11 Israeli sportsmen, died in the end. The background you definitely have to see in the Palestinian conflict. The Palestinians did not accept the UN two-state solution for Palestine. They fought Israel, lost the war, left the country, went to Jordan, there they lost the Jordan Civil War and were expelled. So they had no national home. And their response was to attack Israel and Israeli citizens. The 1972 Munich Olympic Games. They should have been the cheerful games. Germany wanted to present herself as an open-minded, peaceful country. And according to this approach, or in conjunction with this approach, the Security Council was very, very loose. And this loose security concept enabled eight terrorists of Black September to enter the Olympic village and approach the Israeli quarters in the early hours of the 5th of September. They took 11 athletes hostage and the two sportsmen, Weinberg, Moshe Weinberg and Josef Romano, were injured. Weinberg were murdered while attempting to flee and at 0521 security organizations and the Olympic Committee were informed. At 0630 Romano died just because the terrorists denied him medical attention. Now, they issued their demands. They wanted the release of 232 Palestinian prisoners in Israel, as well as the release of two terrorists imprisoned in Germany. There were um, an ultimatum that was extended, and a few quite high-ranking German officials offered themselves as substitute hostages, but the terrorists denied. It took until 1538 till the Olympic Games were adjourned, and then at 1645, the first attempt to free the hostages failed just because somebody forgot to switch off electricity and the terrorists could see, could follow the approach of the policemen live on television. Then it was clear there must be some sort of solution and terrorists and German officials agreed, right, we will fly you out or you will be flown out to Cairo with the hostages. This operation was then underway. The terrorists were brought to helicopters, and two helicopters flew the terrorists with the hostages to a NATO airfield near Munich to Fürstenfeldbruck. There was a Boeing 727 waiting for them. Now, it was not the idea of the German security forces to let the terrorists um, escape, and they wanted to free the hostages. So the plan was to have uh, police in the aircraft with pistols and snipers on the roof of the tower and opposite. But now, the snipers were, it's good to say snipers, they were only armed with assault rifles and normal policemen. And also, it was only, only five terrorists were expected. So, poor preparation. And it should get worse. Shortly before the um, helicopters arrived, the police in the Boeing left their position. And then the helicopters landed and not as planned. The line of fire was not perfect. Of course, there were eight terrorists. Then two terrorists inspected the Boeing. They were annoyed there was no pilot. On the way back, German police blacked out the airfield, switched the light on again, and they could open fire and could take out one of the terrorists. The firefight now was chaotic. There was no proper direction. Um, it was a poor operation by the German police. And at midnight, armored cars arrived. The terrorists thought the situation was hopeless for them. And then they threw grenades in the helicopters and shot the defenseless um, hostages, they murdered them, and by 0120 the operation was over, five terrorists were dead and three were captured. The next day there was a, there was a memorial, uh, memorial service for the murdered athletes, but the president, IOC president, said the games must go on. And to this day there has never ever been a, commemor uh, a commemoration of the victims Officially, the IOC said, oh, we do not want to upset member states. In Germany, these three surviving terrorists were released relatively quickly for, in exchange for a hijacked Lufthansa flight. The fires were never really disclosed concerning this um, incident, so there's a suspicion of a cover-up. But there's also a mass expulsion of Arabs suspecting of terrorist connections. Perhaps most importantly, on the German side, there was a reform of the security forces, and the GSG-9, the legendary GSG-9, was founded and operational uh, around about half a year later. The Arab states, with, except, with the exception of Jordan, 
applauded this terrorist um, operation. And Israel Prime Minister Meir authorized the Operation Kidon, uh, widely known as Operation Wrath of God, the assassination of surviving terrorists and the person behind the Munich massacre. At the end, the victims, there should be a commemoration of the victims of the Munich massacre. The German policeman Anton Fliegbauer and the members of the Israeli Olympic team, David Berger, Zeev Friedman, Josef Gutfreund, Elisa Alfin, Josef Romano, Amin Sur Shapira, Kiel Shore, Mark Slavin, Andre Spitzer, Jakob Springer, Moshe Weinberg.